Hi, I'm Charlie from U.S. Water Systems. Today we're talking about RO systems. We have two different types of RO systems at U.S. Water Systems. We have our American Revolution, which is entirely American made. Every component on here is made in America, including the fittings. And we also have our Aquapurion system that uses American made filters and membrane, as well as top of the line John Guest fittings, which are made in the UK. Now, all RO systems are going to have pre-filters, okay? Some of them are what's called four stages, which would only have two actual vertical filters. Some are called five stages. Really, um, it, it depends on the configuration. Some people have a sediment filter, a carbon filter, then it goes through the system comes back out and uses the final one as some type of a post filter. We use five stage systems and we make them all pre-filters because depending on where you're at, what your city does with the water, depends on how much carbon filtration you may actually need. Um, we've also found that these post filters are much easier to deal with. This particular five stage unit, we have a sediment filter, a carbon pre-filter, a carbon pre-filter, then we have an RO membrane and a post carbon filter, okay? Water always comes into the sediment filter first. Um, the sediment filter looks similar to a roll of paper towels. This is what's called a depth filter. This filter is designed to fill from the outside in. So when you go to change this after a year, you may see contamination or, or dirty residue on the outside of this filter that comes in so far and then stops. That is an indication that the filter did its job. It basically stopped all that stuff from making it to the center port, which is considered the good water that would push you back over to the next filter within your pretreatment. The second filters in here are carbon block filters. These filters are designed to remove some chemicals, but more than anything chlorine because the membrane, which is the heart of the RO system, is relying upon chlorine-free water. Um, we prefer to have soft water as well. Calcium can prematurely plug up the membrane. Um, but in some cases that's not practical and sometimes replacement of the mem membrane is more sensible. But when it comes to chlorine, we definitely want to get that out because I mean that can destroy this membrane really, really quick. That's the main reason that we use carbon filters, because carbon filters will remove chlorine. Now, on a carbon filter, it's a little bit different. Again, it, it still filters from the outside in, but if, if you can see here, there's gaskets on the top and the bottom that help seal these filters. So when you put these filters in, it's critical that you make sure that these, these gaskets are in place when you put them in the sump and when you tighten it down at the top. Because if not, basically you're going to get water that passes right by these and it will be untreated and have chlorine. Now hopefully, because they're redundant, one of them is going to have the seals and you're going to have some protection. But when you change these filters, just make sure that you have these, these gaskets in place when you put those into the sumps. Pre-filters can be changed every 6 to 12 months. It just depends on how much water you use. I mean, if you're in a situation where you use, you know, 10, 20 gallons a day, then you may want to consider doing it every 6 months. And it depends on your water quality too. Your water quality may dictate that as well.